Thank you very much, Andy. It's a delight to be here, and good morning, everyone. When you think of Goldman Sachs, you most likely don't think of innovation. True, we've been around since 1869, almost 150 years, but when you think of us, we have about 33,000 employees around the world, and over one in four of those employees are in engineering. And those engineers have written one and a half billion lines of code and over 7,000 applications using over 200,000 servers in a cloud environment and 1.2 million cores. I hope this gives you a sense of how vibrant the technology culture is at Goldman Sachs and how much engineering we do to drive our business. Today, technology is resulting in rapid change to the financial services industry, in how we serve clients, in new offerings, and in opening up completely new business opportunities. And we believe that in order to be a leader and win, you need strong engineering, risk management, and distribution. On risk management, we aim to get the right information into our clients' hands so they can make the best possible financial decisions. And on distribution, understandably, when you think of Goldman Sachs, you think of an organization that serves large institutional customers. And that is true. However, we are looking to expand our capabilities and move into services and markets we've never been a part of before. We build, we innovate, and we enable our businesses to react to our customer needs in an unparalleled way. So let me share three examples with you. One, to grow our revenues and expand our distribution. Despite not having branches on street corners, we moved into the retail segment by launching a consumer lending business called Marcus, named after one of the founders of Goldman Sachs. Marcus was built in just 12 months, completely underpinned by technology. And in one year, we have over $2 billion of loans with loan sizes of $30,000 or less. Many of our customers are using these loans to pay off high interest credit card debt. This is a completely new business for Goldman Sachs. Two, to enable our clients, we use our core IP and web engineering to build a new digital business called Marquee. Marquee gives our clients direct access to our ideas risk metrics, analytics, and liquidity. And three, innovation to advance the financial services industry. We saw a need for a web-based cloud content sharing platform, which eventually became Symphony. We initially built this platform for internal use, but realized quite quickly that this could be even more powerful as an interbank platform. So we created an industry consortium to bring it to the market as an independent company. Now, a quarter of a million is on Symphony. So what is a consistent team with all these three? It shows how Goldman Sachs is levering, leveraging its core strengths of risk management and technology to drive innovation, shape the industry, and expand our distribution. So one may ask, with that success, why the public cloud? Well, as our businesses continue to, to grow and evolve, we need to manage more risk. And that need drives a requirement for more computing power. A few years ago, we would address that need by adding a field to one of our data centers. The inflection point had come for us at Goldman to make a real move into the public cloud. We wanted the flexibility scaling and innovation curve that the public cloud offered. However, there were some very real barriers for us to overcome. Several years ago, we developed a cloud management platform with a common operational model that managed our entire global compute footprint. And we wanted to expand that platform to the public cloud. So we built APIs to extend our control framework 
into the public cloud. But the real showstopper was data privacy. We are incredibly careful about our clients' data. This is central to every technology decision we make. If we were to somehow compromise that trust, not only would we lose our clients' confidence, but we may potentially face regulatory penalties, and that brand and reputation we've built over the last 148 years will be at risk. None of this was palatable to Goldman Sachs. So we needed a partner who could help us overcome these barriers. And believe me, this was not an easy sell internally. We need someone who was an industry leader, someone who had built new businesses, someone who had a track record of innovation, and someone who excelled at execution. And that is why we chose AWS. Now, before we could move anything to the public cloud, we had to be comfortable that our sensitive data sitting at a third party location would be secure. And even though we trust the partner that we choose to work with, we could not get comfortable without us still having control. Think of it, this is like you having a safety deposit box at the bank. You may trust the bank to hold your valuables because they have security guards and doors and vaults, but in the end, you want to have your own key for access. We explained our problem to AWS, and immediately they sprung into action, partnering with us to define the requirement for a bring your own key, BYOK architecture. Now, some of the really great things we got out of AWS's BYOK solution were immediate detection of anomalous behavior, greater transparency into AWS's operational model. Now, remember, this was new to us, and having a real-time indicator and historical logs allowed us to apply the trust but verify model to key management. And by the way, having BYOK natively in AWS also simplified our stack. It allowed us to have fewer external components, leading to less complexity, lower latency, and easier troubleshooting. Let's talk a little bit about the, our working with AWS. The AWS team was a pleasure to work with. Even though they were on the West Coast, we felt like they were in the same room on the East Coast with us. The engagement was iterative, and they treated our concerns and requests with a sense of urgency. And AWS's flexibility, innovation, and collaboration in providing a solution helped us to leap over a huge hurdle to take advantage of the public cloud. Now, this BYOK solution is not just good for Goldman. It's applicable to many industries and for any size customer that wants an additional level of data protection. And by the way, AWS rolled out BYOK as part of their KMS solution in August of last year. And they're actively working to integrate KMS broadly across their product line. This will further open the door for us to expand beyond core computing into many of the advanced services that you heard Andy speaking about earlier. So what's next for Goldman? The success of having critical workloads in AWS will accelerate us in pushing other kinds of applications beyond core compute into the public cloud. And while we can't predict the future, what I can tell you is that thanks to our entrance into the public cloud, our ability to innovate has multiplied exponentially. Thank you very much.